In this demonstration, we look at the Azure portals. These provide us with an easy to use graphic user interface from which we can manage our Azure subscription. We have two portals. We have the Azure portal and we also have the classic portal. So the first one we look at here is the classic portal. I've come in in the Explorer. Next thing I need to do is just enter in the URL for our classic portal. And the URL for that is https colon forward slash forward slash manage dot windows azure dot com. So we've got my username. So all we'll do here is we'll just click on the username. This will redirect us through to the classic portal. Stick in the password and then continue on. As this is the first time I've run this, as we can see here, what I've got here is I've just got my little guide. So if we click through the buttons here, as we can see, it just takes us through the fact that we've got the new portal. Tells us how to create new virtual machines, etc. So all we'll do is we'll just quickly get through the little introduction and this then brings us into our new portal. So what we've got here is I don't want to use the new portal just yet. All I want to do is come to my classic portal. So within my classic portal, as we can see here, we've got all items. Now this would show us everything. So as we can also see down here on the menu, we've got the different services we can create. To actually create any of these services, you just highlight exactly what it is you want to create and click the new button. So if we come, for example, if we scroll this down a little bit, so what we can see here, if we keep going all the way down, we can see the various things that we can create. So the only thing I've currently got is the default Active Directory. So I've got my default directory. I am the global administrator, and we can see exactly where everything is stored. Up at the top here, we can see our credit status. So I haven't actually created anything yet. So when I click on my credit status, I've got my 30 days left. Still got my full 65 pound. We can see the user I'm currently logged in as. Now if we click on the little drop down next to Microsoft Azure, what we can see is it brings up a menu. So we can click on the menu to get additional options. If we want to get rid of the menu, click on the up arrow, menu disappears. If we want to delete anything, we have a delete button. And if we want to create anything, we've got a new button. The other type of portal we've got is we've got the new portal. So if I just click on check out new portal, this is going to take me to the new portal which is accessed via the URL of https colon forward slash forward slash portal dot com. So what we have here, down the left hand side here, we have our hub menu. So as you can see again, we've got the new button so we can create new objects. We can have a look at the objects we've got. What we've also got as well is we've got these things called blades. So what we have is we have a, currently our dashboard and on our dashboard we can see basic tasks, we can see the service health, we can see any resources I've currently got. I could access the marketplace to get pre-built services, applications, virtual machines. What we've also got here as well, if I just click on the new button, what we can see here is this launches up a blade. And within the blade, if we then go to compute, that then launches up another blade. And then if we click on, for example, Windows Server 2012 data center, that launches up yet another blade. And what we can do here is as we can see here, we have the pin blade, the dashboard, so we can create it on our dashboard. I can close the blades down and this will then take us back through to our various menus. What we've also got the ability to do here as well is we've got the search. So we can search. We can see any notification, so any tasks we're potentially performing, we can see a notification in here. So let's say we start creating a virtual machine. We want to know when it's finished. We can have a look at that by the notification. We have our settings icon. What we've also got here as well is we've got our feedback button. And if we just click on the question mark, we've got our help and support. And again, we can see the user that's currently logged in. Now we're not actually gonna do anything in these dashboards. This is purely a demonstration, just to show the fact we have these two GUIs. So we have the classic portal. And the classic portal, if we just come back one step here on the, the tab here, is manage.windowsazure.com. And what we've also got now as well as our new portal, which is portal.azure.com. So what we've got here is we've got Azure services, and in the case of the portal.azure.com, we have our resource manager. And that's the end of this demonstration. And in later demonstrations, we'll actually look at creating services and resources within Azure itself. Thank you.